Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. A little double upload for your Wednesday. We're talking about OP FIFA 21 starter squads. I just want to look at a bunch of squads today and kind of get the idea of you got to you guys of what some cards that might be OP and maybe how you might be able to start to factor in a squad builder that you guys might want to use looking through some different nationalities, different leagues, of course, knowing what kind of players are going to be more expensive than others, what kind of price range you can look for these players to be in. Most of these are going to be like 100,000 coins or less, honestly. Some of them are going to be a bit more, but a lot of these players shouldn't be more than like one to two, 3,000 coins themselves. Uh, some of them are going to be in the 7, 8, 9, 10k range with maybe a player or two getting in the 20k range. But for most of this, I just want to look at some like cheaper teams and ways that you might be able to start your FIFA Ultimate teams well, of course. Now we don't know who you're going to pack untradeable from all of your welcome backpacks and from all those FIFA 20 rewards that transfer over to FIFA 21. That's going to factor into who you put in your starting team, as it should. But let's just talk about some OP players since we got that top 1,000 yesterday. Let's look at some of these squads that we might be able to use for some starter beast OP teams. I like this one a lot. And there's a lot of reasons why I like French, right? Because French is always a nationality. It's a lot of special cards. And it's very easy to upgrade almost every single French position in FIFA Ultimate Team. There's always a better French striker, midfielder, defender, or goalkeeper even than what you would have in a starter squad. So it's almost just like a plug and play. And that's a big part of making a starter squad in a new FIFA is thinking about how can I upgrade this squad? Am I going to have to upgrade two, three players at a time? Or can I just go get another French midfielder that's better than Sanson or Coquelin in this example right here and just continue to upgrade my team that way? That's why I like this French squad. But anyway, let's look at a few of these players starting at the right back spot. This is going to be a cheap beast right back. This SAR card right here, he's going to be great. He's going to be a bit expensive in the first couple of days. And of course, he is going to drop off in price, as a lot of these cards will in the first week or so of foot when the full game comes out. But this could be a good guy for EA access, right? Pretty solid card in terms of a right back. Very well-rounded player. And it's probably not going to break the bank that much. More of a budget right back. He's French. Good links, especially some of these other league on players. Diallo, really solid looking card. Great passing and dribbling for a center back. Um, PSG links as well. French links, of course. Uh, Lafont is a goalkeeper. It is what it is. Konate, again, is another Bundesliga beast. Of course, last year we had Konate, Upamecano, as some guys that a lot of people used as center backs to start off the year for the Bundesliga. All of those guys are back, except for Mukiele. He moved to a right back card, so it's a bit tougher to link him up as a center back and, you know, Get that type of player build as a center back. Kamara, moving to left back, is one of the most OP left backs, cheap left backs with good links that you're going to see. This guy is fantastic, fantastic as a left back. You're going to see a lot of him in starter squads. One right back that's not in the squad that you will see, he's not French, but he is Ligon, that is Atal. Atal is a great looking card as well. Uh, Sanson, Awar is a great midfielder that you can use for a while. I used him a bunch last year. He fits the meta. This looks like Coquelin, a pretty solid center defensive mid. I'm a big fan there. Sansone is well-rounded. Diaby's got pace. Ikone has got pace. And then Lacazette is striker. I think I'd put somebody else there. But this squad right here is just a perfect example of what you could use in the first couple of days. This is not going to break the bank by any means. Honestly, I wouldn't expect this squad to be much more than like, especially if you're buying this like day two or day three, you probably wouldn't have to spend too much more than like anywhere between 40 thousand coins 30 to 40 thousand coins in the squad early early on especially if you swap out Lacazette because that's like 10 to 15k early on just like that a lot of these guys I don't think anybody in this entire squad will hit 10k except for Lacazette you know Awar Kamara might get decently close Sar might get kind of close but most of these guys are going to be in the 2000 to like 6000 range which is not terrible for a starter squad right there that could last you a couple days so and again i like this because it's upgradable very easily all right let's move on to the next one here we have a little bit of a hybrid scenario with la liga bundesliga and premier league these three guys right here zakaria akanji and mbabu that's going to be a triangle of dreams and klosterman is a card you're going to see a lot in some starter builds all of these cards again great starter cards i think zakaria is going to be overpriced I think Lucas is going to be expensive. We're talking 30,000 coins for probably this card during like the first week or so for the lack of right wings that are in the Prem, Brazilian links, 
Of course, we have Bale now, but he's going to have a once to watch card that's out for the first little bit. So first couple days, Lucas is going to get expensive. Gabriel Jesus is going to be expensive as well because he's kind of like a second tier striker in this game. You know, the first guy you might start with in this position would be Richarlison, right? Richarlison with the five-star weak foot. Then you might upgrade to Gabriel Jesus. I think this card is going to be 50, 60,000 coins as a Brazilian striker in the Prem, getting a little bit of an upgrade from prior year as well. Vinicius is not going to be super duper expensive because he's basically just all pace and skills. Llorente is going to be pricey, probably somewhere around like 15K, I would think, maybe even 20K. That's a fantastic looking card. And then this is a sleeper left back, man. I really like that Renan Lodi card. He looks meta to me, looks like a nice upgrade on that card. And I think a lot of people are going to like him and use him inside of FIFA 21. So I like this squad. It's a bit more expensive than that first French squad that we, that we looked at. And again, the only downside to this is if you're going to upgrade, you're really limited in terms of for chemistry reasons, how can I upgrade this squad? Uh, if you do go ahead and look around, it's going to be kind of hard to just plug and play new players, new guys in the squad. But this is pretty solid, right? Not bad at all. We go again, another Bundesliga squad. I'm going to be honest, boys. If you're looking for like a legit starter squad under 100,000 coins and you're going to leave that squad there and eventually sell it and then just upgrade with more coins in the future, Bundesliga, La Liga are kind of the way to go. I mean, everything that's Premier League, that's French, that's Brazilian is probably going to be overpriced. This squad right here would be a value type squad because Rashika is not going to be expensive. Bailey's going to be a little bit expensive just for his pace. Same with Bellarabi. The players that I would be the most worried about in this squad would be Davies, Klosterman, and Zakaria. And Babu's going to be expensive for a little bit. He'll die down. Uh, Davies is going to be pricey, though, because he is going to be a top four, top five left back to start off the game in terms of meta and in terms of just OP ability in game. This guy is going to be expensive. That's the only thing I worry about. Other guys that you could use instead of him if you're truly looking for a starter squad would be Nico Schultz and Philip Max as left backs in the Bundesliga. That'd be a those two would be perfect to slide in here to make this a truly, truly cheap starter team right here. But again, Sabitzer is a great card. I used this lamer last year at the start of foot. He was fantastic. He was great. And Rashika fits the meta. Five foot ten. He's he's a little bit shorter. Good dribbling. What's his weak foot? Uh, it says he has a four star weak foot. So we I know we've had issues with the skill moves and the weak foots being uploaded correctly so far, but I think that one's going to be correct. And that's a good looking starter striker card right there. Of course, I love the defense. This Tap Silva card is interesting. Not the best to link, but if you've got a full Bundesliga squad, you might be able to fit somebody else in there on a decent budget. But I like this squad. This is a really good starter Bundesliga team, in my opinion. That's one that I honestly am considering shooting for. I might get rid of Sabitzer and put somebody a little bit more attacking. Honestly, if I'm going to run like a 4-2-3-1 or a 4-1-2-1-2, I might put a center attacking mid or even like more of a second striker here um, so that I can get somebody more attacking as I've already got two center defensive midfielders in that squad. Now let's move on to another hybrid, incorporating some Serie A and some La Liga. A couple leagues we haven't seen yet. Morales, great cheap beast. Ansu Fati even looks solid as a cheap beast. Tonali is a really good looking card as a non-rare. Just watch out for this card. Good for SBCs this year and going to be a good starter card. And this is one guy that I want to point out too, Bruno Perez. And you might be like, yo, what is that logo? That logo right there is the new FIFA 21 logo that we're going to be seeing this year for Roma because Roma lost their partnership with EA Sports, just like Juventus did last year. So we don't have Juventus. We have Piemonte Calcio. We don't have Roma. We have Roma FC in FIFA 21. So that is the Roma FC. Probably going to see, I don't know if they're going to do white shirts for Roma, if they're going to change up the shirt color or whatever. But we won't have the official licensing for Roma. And I was confused when I saw that. But Bruno Perez is a solid right back. I don't like this back line. That's, or I, I don't mind this back line that much. Again, there's the Nico Schultz. Emre Chan is a card that we haven't talked about yet, but he's going to be overpowered. He's going to be a cheap beast off the bat, except probably not that cheap. He might be 20,000 coins around that range as well. Kind of like the whole Yorente situation. That's a really, really good 82 rated card. And a lot of people are going to want to build their teams with him. That's a nice triangle right there with Chan, Schultz, and Vogt, uh, depending on your formation. Bernardeschi position changed from to a cam this year, so moving back to center mid. That's a solid looking card right there. Not a bad team, right? Again, Serie A is a bit thin uh, in some areas, and so is La Liga. 
uh, except for La Liga back lines. So if you're going to do some sort of hybrid, La Liga back lines, Bundesliga back lines for a starter team, those look fantastic in my opinion. Uh, again, as we go on to the next squad, you see here more Bundesliga back lines. Big fan. This would be a little bit more expensive, of course. You know, some of these guys might edge towards the 15, 20,000 coin range. This is definitely over 100,000 coins for this squad. Carrasco is going to get overlooked, I'm telling you right now. But that's a good card uh, based on just his build. And Naki Williams is going to be solid. Uh, we've seen a lot of these others, but Lucas Hernandez with a downgrade. Uh, Boateng with a downgrade. Might make those players cheaper this year and a bit easier to get into starter teams. Now, of course, just be careful with transfers and stuff. If Thomas Party would go to Arsenal, you know, some of these other cards that we may have looked at or may look at in the next squad could get transferred. Just keep that in mind when you're building some of these squads that some players, like Allen, uh, actually, I can't even put anybody in the squad, but uh, some players uh, like Allen or, um, you know, Dest, who just got transferred to um, Barcelona, I believe. Some players actually haven't got their transferred cards yet in FIFA. So that's just something to think about. And then ending with this squad, this is more of maybe a squad you might start to progress towards. This one's going to be a bit more expensive, but I want to throw some of these OP players in here that people are going to start to get in right away at the start of foot. Gabriel Jesus again, Richarlison, Sissoko, and Ndombele. They're not as hyped up this year, but they're going to be used. They're going to be in a lot of people's starter teams as 79 and 80 rated cards between the two of them. They're going to be fantastic. Edwin Militao. Diego Carlos is going to be OP this year. Again, more hype around his name just because of uh, his publicity from last year in FIFA with Diego Carlos and his road to the final uh, Europa League card and his team of the season. Made a really big name for himself in FIFA, and that's going to carry into this year and make him a bit more expensive um, in this year's FIFA, in my opinion. You know, some other guys that might fit the La Liga back line, Nacho Fernandez. Of course, when you start talking about Ferland Mendy, Varane, Langley, that's a really upper echelon tier and really starting to upgrade and getting some bigger money cards. Uh, but all these cards right here should be decently usable. And this should just hopefully, what I want to do with this video again is just hopefully give you guys some ideas depending on what your budget is going to be. You know, maybe you're looking at this sort of team for a starter team, or maybe you're going to be opening some FIFA points, or maybe you get lucky in one of your pre order packs and you've got, you know, 50, 150, 200,000 coins to splash on a squad that you want to. Uh, and then you're looking into more players like this. So I just want to kind of give you a pre preliminary video today, looking at some cheap starter squads that I've made and come across and uh, just kind of talk to you about them because there's a lot of sick players out there, right? If we go and look at some of these ratings, there's a ton of just beast players that are in here, right? Even in Diddy is a pretty solid looking 84 rated card that you could start off the bat with and do well with. Uh, even some downgraded cards. Fred. Fred is a card this year that looks pretty freaking good. Giovanni Lo Celso is not bad as a Premier League midfielder, I think is what I have this sorted by right now. So get in the database, start messing around with some concept squads and flip in, depending on how many coins you want to spend on a team. Find that balance, right? I want to spend this much coins on a team and this much on trading. You know, maybe it's 70% trading, 30% team if you're not going to play the game that much. If you're really a gameplay guy and you'd like to play, Maybe you spend more of those coins on that team because that's how you're earning a lot of your coins by playing games, getting rewards, than, than trading. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind as you're building the starter squads, figure out what your motivation is going to be and you know what kind of players and what kind of price range you're going to be in and what your goals are in the early days of FIFA 20 Ultimate Team, FIFA 21. But if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.